Hi everyone and welcome back to Brian's Business World. Um, we're continuing our conversation on networking in networks. Now, how do you do networking? What are some techniques um, and sort of approaches that can lead to very effective networking for you? Now, there's been an army of books and you know, probably thousands of YouTube videos and TV shows and whatnot on how to do this. But I just wanna give you a few, I think, very simple and clear pointers that will always, and I do emphasize, that will always be effective, especially over the long term. So, first of all, when you are networking, you, you know, this may sound obvious, but actively engage in conversation. Uh, be attentive, be listening. Don't be worried about the other people circulating in the room. Uh, you'll get to them in time. Be focused on the individual that you are talking with. And of key importance, you want to share things about yourself, uh, both personally and professionally. And you want to be actively listening uh, regarding to the other person regarding the same. Now, let me just kind of underscore that. You do want to share some personal information about yourself as well as what you do professionally or may be doing professionally in the future. The reason is you can have a connection um, with someone or something can quote unquote click with someone uh, in either or both of those areas. And if you click with someone on something that you personally have in common, it may make the professional connection all the better and all the easier to establish. Now, a word about listening. And these actively engaged conversations where, again, you're listening to them, what they're doing currently, where they may be going, and um, you know some personal things about them. You want to be actively listening. Uh, listening is such an important skill. Uh, it's really been degraded in our culture, and we have rewarded, uh, especially in social media and other platforms, basically he or she who is loudest and most obnoxious. So uh, listening uh, really has been degraded, and it is of incredible value. And I would offer to you that everybody wants to feel they've been heard, um, and if you provide that, you will be remembered for that and uh, highly valued for that. So how do you listen? One is every now and then is simply to uh, summarize what someone has told you or um, you know, have a little bit of a different twist and give them the information back to them. And with practice, you can do this very artfully uh, in, very, in a very engaging fashion, or you can do follow-up questions. Uh, another approach is do follow-up questions on what you have heard. Again, that actively engages the person. And they will always walk away from you feeling good because they felt that you heard them and you understood them. And people uh, really do crave that. Um, uh, and it's, it's very much part of the human experience. And also it's something that many people do not do well. So active and engaged listening will automatically separate you on the networking scene for a very good way. Now, another technique that can make you effective as a networker. Um, many people think networking is unseemly or bad because they feel it's, it's of a transactional nature, um, that they are trying to get uh, something out of the person and, and they're getting something out of you and it's a very bottom line-ish commercial exchange. So some people feel ill at ease with that and that therefore impedes their effectiveness of networking. So how do you, um, you know, kind of get out of that or get your headspace uh, out, out of that very negative way of thinking? And the answer is, if you are new to a networking group or to a group of people, to, new to a network, I should say, you do not ask for anything from anyone for one year. Now, I did read this uh, in another blog, and I wish I could give credit to it because I cannot remember uh, the name of the blog where I read it, but I thought that was a great rule that just takes the pressure off. When you join a new group or you become part of a new, or a new, a new network or a newer network, don't ask for anything um, from anyone in the group, especially on a professional basis, uh, for at least one year. And therefore, you're just, you know, that takes the pressure off you. Any expectations off yourself that, you know, you're not being effective at networking or getting, quote unquote, what you need or what you're seeking. Um, and you just more focus on getting to know people. So I think that's a very effective way. Now, and, and feel free to expand that. If you think 18 months is more appropriate, that's fine. What you may find if you employ that technique is that actually people will offer to help you. You won't even have to ask. They'll get to know you 
and and they've they've gotten to know you again sharing of the personal the professional they're feeling more comfortable with you and they will offer things to you already uh, that you won't even have to ask for so I think that's an excellent approach um, uh, to doing that so um, now again these are some very simple techniques we could go on and on and on um, regarding networking but a few key takeaways one share some personal information where you are currently and where you would like to go to be active listening to everyone you speak with and paying close attention regarding those same three factors again what the other person is doing where they might want to go and some personal information with them three when you are a newer when you are new to a uh, network wait at least one year before making any professional requests of anybody in the network. And I think with those three techniques, uh, you will be off to an excellent start. And again, there's many, many tactical and other uh, approaches which we'll explore in future segments of how to network. But I think those would be a, a great uh, three sort of key principles to keep in mind um, for your professional and business networking. Hope you've liked our segment today. Uh, please follow us, email us with any comments. Look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.